Uh, so first of all, it's MedStack with a CK, just in case anybody is looking for it. There may be a MedStack with a K. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, TechTO 2018. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Woo! There's a reason I'm starting that way, actually, because of what I'm going to talk about. So my name is Balaji. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called MedStack. And uh, today I'm going to talk about telling your story by way of telling other people's stories. So just get started on that. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I get to do a lot of cool stuff. I get to hang out with some cool people, especially those two cool people there. Uh, play some music, and I'm fortunate to have having spent the last, what, 15 years working in the best technology ecosystem in the entire world. Isn't it? And I tell this story to anybody who will listen, including other cities and other countries. And I've had the opportunity in this ecosystem to build some cool stuff. Big stuff, small stuff, stuff for consumers, stuff for enterprises. I built airplanes, I built wearables, I built digital signage. And the thing that's motivated me, I mean, Rich did a really great presentation on how to use your career to motivate you. But the thing that's motivated me across all of them, because they are really, really different, is enabling people to do amazing things with technology. It isn't the tech, it isn't the UI, it isn't the business model, it's the customers and the stories they have to tell about your products. This is the thing that gets me up and going every single day. So one day, after building all this stuff, I asked myself the question, well, what would be bigger than building cool stuff for customers? Well, how about building cool stuff so that other people can build cool stuff for customers? Like rabbits. Put two of them together and they multiply. That's what we're trying to do. So I, I got really excited about this idea about platforms. And um, that's kind of led me down the path to this. So MedStack, very quickly, we are a developer platform for healthcare applications. We make it easier for more entrepreneurs to go into the world's most important space, which is solving healthcare by getting applications to market 60% faster, by easing all of the complex onboarding requirements of the hospitals and insurance companies that take more work than actually building the app themselves. So that's what we do. But here is the problem I ran into in building MedStack. How the hell do you talk about that? Because most investors, advisors, potential employees, the question they ask is, can I see your stuff? What does it actually look like? Well, this is what my product looks like. It's plumbing. It's boring. It's not that interesting and doesn't really do anything. There, MedStack has no UI. Well, it kind of has a UI. We sort of have this. Is it this? No. It's more than this. I don't want to spend all day talking about our monitoring dashboard for our servers. So I really struggled with this as I built this company. And, uh, you know, longer stories about investors and uh, I don't know, because I want to see, like, drones. So we talked about drones dropping medical records just so we can use the word drones and AI and blockchain and bots and, you know, but that's not what we do. We do this. Then I had the idea that, well, wait a minute, why am I doing this every day? I'm doing this because I want the people in this room to build awesome stuff. So why don't I just ride on their coattails? I got this idea of talking about my customer story. So let me give you a couple examples. This is Keratin. Keratin is a company based out of Philadelphia. They're one of our first customers. Uh, amazing story, I'll tell it as quick as I can. This young man came from India to do his master's uh, at the University of Pennsylvania in robotics or something, something not, nothing to do with healthcare. But the story is his sister ha was pregnant with a child and she had a premature baby. Now, I'm a parent and I've heard a couple other parent stories today. Uh, apparently, giving birth to a premature child is a very traumatic experience because the child whose health is at risk is in the hospital and the mother is at home. For the women in the audience and the men, imagine how stressful that is. His sister went through a terrible experience, worried about her child. And the reason for it is because getting the breast milk to the baby is extremely complicated and 50% of the bottles expire. Sometimes they don't even get to the right child. Well, this guy is an operations expert. He said, this is shit. So he built a company to fix it, reducing the amount of time the nurses spend triaging the bottles from 45 minutes a day to a few seconds. And they're now live in several hospitals, and they're reducing the readmission rates and getting babies out of the hospital faster. That's an amazing story. 
What's even cooler is, while I love keratin, we've got some fantastic stories right here in Toronto. Here's one. This company's building the Uber for healthcare. You can book a doctor to come and see you, the right kind of appointment, the right kind of physician for the right kind of case when you need it. Thank you. This is a company that was started by a family physician who was frustrated by the way that the referral process works in the healthcare industry. It's all on paper, so you built a digital way to do it. This is a company that's changing the way that the reception works at a family health clinic from calling up somebody on the phone waiting on the line to a chat bot. That's supposed to say VW. Virtual ward. This is a company started by an attending physician, an internist, who is so frustrated, there's a blog and a website about this, about the way that the healthcare system works in the hospital he works at, that he's building a company to change the way that the communications process happens between the doctors uh, at the hospital. Uh, this is a company started by an emergency physician who was frustrated with the fact that the patients he saw didn't have enough information because it was so hard for them to talk to a doctor about very common things. So we built a video chat platform for the healthcare industry. And we got a ton more, AI, blockchain, um, virtual reality, all in healthcare, all enabled to do amazing things because of our plumbing. And when you tell amazing stories, then people listen. So today, I'm very happy to announce that we are, we've signed a deal with the Sinai Health System here in Toronto for them to standardize on MedStack for all of the applications they're onboarding in the hospital because they heard the stories that our customers are telling. It's pretty exciting for me because this is where our company's going. Thank you. So why do we do what we do? Why do we eat like crap? Hopefully my trainer isn't here. Why do we get yelled at? Why do we deal with so much stress? Why do we give up on sleep? For entrepreneurs in the room who are asking yourselves, why do we do that? Remember, it's because of your customers. You want inspiration, that's where you look. And that's why we do what we do. There's a little bit about me. I love telling these stories. I'd love to hear your stories. Please reach out. Let's talk more. Thanks. Woo. Questions? Answers? Tomatoes? Do you have a question? Uh, has it been challenging to deal in the Canadian healthcare environment just because uh, we're a little bit different and less private sector than other countries? You know, that's an interesting question because I go to the US and they go, wow, it must be so much easier in Canada. Because you just sell to one and you get everybody. Um, yeah, we had the fortune, so our business is actually 50% Canada, 50% US. Uh, we had the fortune of getting exposed to the US healthcare system uh, right away. I met Keratin through an accelerator in Philadelphia that we were, that we were at, and they became one of our first customers. Um, and actually, for more information, I would refer you to talk to my friends at the Biomedical Zone, because they got ages of stories to tell you about this. Um, so the difference is the Canadian healthcare system, it's hard to get commercial deals in Canada, but it's easier to get pilots. So the general recommendation is test your technology here, make sure that it works in the clinical setting, but your commercial future may lie elsewhere. If you can get standardized, especially if the ministry takes notice, then they can push it to the, to the uh, entire system underneath the ministry. What is that? Okay, so that sounds great. What about the US? The US has competition. So Philly was amazing to me. I, I had no idea. The, the Penn State Medical is bigger than like all of University Avenue put together, and there's five hospitals like that in Philadelphia. And they compete with each other for innovation. Fiercely, it's still hard. It still takes forever. But when they get something that works, they share it amongst all of them. And that's something that there's no reason that can't happen in Canada. As a conversation I've had with a bunch of people in Vancouver and Ottawa and Calgary and Montreal and, and here. Um, so it is very, very different. You just need to know how to have the conversations with the different people differently. Last question. Um, hello. Hi. Um, I was wondering if somebody has an idea for a health uh, app, yep. in what part of the process from idea to hiring developers to creating a beta process, where should where somebody contact you to get into the process? I Fantastic guess. question, yeah. So what we do technically, I didn't want to talk too much about the product, but what we do technically is we're a hosting platform. We host your application in the cloud and wrap it into a set of protocols that meets the exacting standards 
of the healthcare industry with all the paperwork required. So by definition, you need to have your stack defined. You need to know what kind of uh, framework you're building in, what language, what kind of servers, how much you need. And essentially, you can think of us as like Heroku. So we're like the Heroku for healthcare. You come and tell us your requirements. We spin up the servers. We manage the root access because that's where all the security is. And we give you a deployment account. And we manage the servers for you. Now, happy to talk to you in advance of that so we can give you some feedback on what you're doing based on the community that we have engaged with. Because that's what we're doing is we're building a two-sided community for healthcare. In other words, what might the hospitals be looking for? Thank you. Thanks very much.